Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. We've got fall nights, summer days, and a winter outlook you'll definitely want to hear about. Here's more in tonight's Chicks Chat. All right, so let's start with NOAA's winter outlook for temperatures expected to be colder than normal here in central Texas. In addition, it's also expected to be wetter than normal. Now, here in the Austin area, that doesn't mean we're going to get snow and blizzards. It probably does mean we'll see some cold rain events and maybe more frequent icing events because of El Nino, which hasn't kicked in yet, but is likely to do so. And if we get that El Nino pattern, that means more frequent storms pulling across Texas, which could mean more rain, enough so that NOAA is also predicting an end or an improvement of the drought, not only across Central Texas, but across all of the Lone Star State. In the meantime, I got another cool night ahead. Temperatures dropping in the upper 40s in the coldest locations, closer to 60 in the warmest spots. Future track taking hour by hour. Notice the temperatures do drop under mainly clear skies by morning. 40s, 50s, maybe some 60s. You may have noticed some clouds trying to develop out toward the I-10 corridor. I think we'll see mainly sunny skies though for the rest of us as high temperatures once again reach upper 80s to near 90 degrees. After that, a weak cold front pushing in early, early Saturday could be enough to bring us a few more clouds by then. Here's your Friday planner, 55, 59, I should say, in the morning, 80 at noon, 90 degrees, your afternoon high temperature. All right, forecast high in Austin, 90, San Marcos, 90, New Braunfels, 90, about 86 in LaGrange, 90 in Mason, 86 degrees in Fredericksburg. Meanwhile, all eyes on Hurricane Gonzalo in the Atlantic, likely to make landfall in Bermuda tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's a really, really strong storm, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how people fare there. Of course, our thoughts are with the folks on that island. On the other side of the ocean, Pacific, Tropical Storm Ana now looks like it should just miss the Hawaiian Islands to the south. There may still be some rip currents and some minor effects, but it does not look like a landfalling storm is likely. Here at home, changes with that cold front on Saturday, we may actually see clouds for the first time in oh, almost a week. Last time we had any clouds around was first thing Friday, or first thing Monday, I should say, when that last front came through. And then mostly sunny skies should develop for the rest of the day. Saturday and Sunday's temperatures not quite as warm. We'll be in the low to middle 80s. And at this point, it looks like we'll see another front Monday to Tuesday. That one also not likely to bring us any rain, so that dry stretch continues. Finally, let's end it with your forecast for the UT game on Saturday. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. Temperature 80 degrees. Not too shabby.